Uh, this is John with LIB Magazine. I'm in Port Jefferson at Flames of Fine Cigar with Joe, an owner of the Payback 101 Matt Booth. And um, we're actually uh, taking a quick smoke break. Joe, uh, what does, some, what does uh, an owner coming into your shop mean to you? What does it mean to the cigar uh, industry? To me, it's fantastic. The fact that the owners actually go out and makes it, you know, it makes it a little more personal. This whole industry is based around friendships and relaxing, being able to sit down. It, to me, it, a lot of people say smoking is a hobby. I call smoking a habit. Smoking cigars is, is a hobby, not a habit. So when the owners come out, it makes it a little more personal. It makes it a little more real. To, social. Yeah, real, social, exactly. Not only to me, but to my customers as well. You know, the guys love meeting the owners, they love meeting the reps. It's just a, it's a great time for the guys, and I really appreciate Matt coming out because this, this is amazing. His, his cigars do fantastic for me, and the, the guys love everything he does. Including well, uh, that he's coming out here. After, how do you stay in contact with your fans? Well, I do a lot of stuff. You know, I do an email newsletter for my members and the rest of my regular clientele. We do some regular ads online, social media, or not. But a big one for me, we have our own radio show around here. Uh, it's new. It's only about a year old. It, it's Cigar Czar Radio. It's C Z A R. Uh, we have we just launched a brand new website for it, so it's CigarZarRadio.com. Uh, I'm the host. It's uh, every Friday night and Tuesday night at nine o'clock on 103.9 FM in Suffolk and Nassau County. Uh, we do cigar pairings with uh, any type of drinks. We talk about the news in the cigar industry. I tell you about events going on not only at my shop but across the island. Uh, yeah, it's a cool little it's a cool little way to get the uh, get the word about cigars and you know being in New York State, a very tough uh, tough smoking law state we'll go with. Uh, it, it's always fun when I can find a way to kind of promote it and kind of get the community together. So the radio show has definitely been an absolute blast for me. Perfect. So let's put you on the spot. What do you think of the Payback One on One? The big Payback is one of my favorites. When it, when it comes to a value cigar, it's fantastic. I mean, I'll tell you, my favorite cigar out of him out of his line right now, which I'm, I took a label, but it's his, his new uh, Master Collection Three. I absolutely love this cigar. It's absolutely fantastic. Nice. I've actually I've actually done two reviews on this on the radio show, okay in the past year. Nice. It's been absolutely fantastic. So so speaking of uh, Matt Booth, uh, Matt, what do you think of uh, what do you think of your uh, what's your favorite cigar you make? My favorite cigar that I make? Yeah. Uh, it's definitely either the cigar that he's smoking or a Namakubi Ecuador blend. Okay. It's currently out in the market today. We're I'm currently working out. on some limited stuff. It, I mean, you know, when you make things, you always kind of uh, exceed yourself, release to release. So things that are coming, I consider to be better, in my opinion, but they're also new and fresh. But those are staples of our collection, and they're, in my opinion, the best things we offer. Good. Now, you would, consider, would you consider yourself a boutique brand? Uh, well, actually, I, I would consider Room 101 to be the industry's first salon brand. Uh, we're not really boutique, and quite frankly, no one really understands what boutique means, so no one understands what salon means either, but I would like to have a different title. So, Room 101 is a salon brand, officially. Perfect. Uh, what, is, what is the price point for your for your sticks? Uh, starting with the payback, we start at uh, we start at four ninety nine and go up to twelve ninety nine, basically. And then, in, in unfortunately, in higher tax states, it goes up a buck or two. Uh, you know, like New York, I think I think our the uh, payback starts about five fifty. Okay, five fifty six okay. somewhere in that range. Okay. I think the uh, Mexican collection goes to I believe it's. Uh, $12.99, sorry. Okay, it's about so, a dollar more. so about a dollar more. Yeah. Okay. Now, you're a pretty young guy. You're in your 30s, I'm assuming? Uh, 37. 37. Yeah. How do you get started in uh, 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 making cigars? That's kind of be, an uh, interesting question, man. You want the cliff notes or you want like a, <laughs> um, like a very extravagant? How about the, uh, the Reader's Digest, uh, the Reader's Digest uh, version? Reader's Digest. So, basically, I, I started Room 101 in 2003 as a lifestyle collection. My vision was that it would be a multi-class brand, uh, but I started with my core passion, which was jewelry design. So, the, the spine of Room 101 has always been, and I truly believe will always be, custom jewelry design. And uh, as the fan base and uh, business for my brand grew, uh, I expanded with other classes of goods we could manufacture in-house in Los Angeles, like our leather goods, our tailor-made product. Uh, but ultimately, my vision for our brand included three things that I could make myself directly, which was a cigar, a fragrance, and an alcohol product. And through a haphazard 
That's what she said. Collection of incidents. I was introduced to a gentleman who was the marketing director for Camacho Cigars. Okay. Uh, he actually attended an after party I was throwing in Las Vegas for uh, the fashion trade show Magic, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and him and I banged our heads together and decided we were going to release a collaborative cigar project under the Room 101 name with Camacho. While we were developing that project, uh, the, at the time that the current owner of the brand announced uh, the acquisition by Davidoff, Davidoff actually purchased the Camacho brand. Um, and so I was able to, I was basically able to procure a, uh, a manufacturing and distribution arrangement with Davidoff in Geneva for my cigar brand. This is the cigar portion of our business. Mm -hmm. And we released our first cigar in 2009. So that's how it happened. So you're releasing your first cigar at probably what, age 31? Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah that's, pre that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, in terms of naming, how do, you, how do you come up with names for your cigars? I mean, Room 101 is... Uh, well, Room 101 is a tribute to George Orwell's 1984, basically. The, con the, the basic concept behind the 1984 novel, or story rather, because they've made a movie out of it as well. Um, and then the other names for our sub-brands, a lot of them are in Spanish, and it's... It's, uh, you know, I like to have a lot of fun with what I do, so uh, it, for the Spanish-speaking populace, they're all kind of uh, things that they would get a kick out of. They're not necessarily jokes, but they're things that people would uh, kind of get a giggle out of every once in a while. Yeah. So as a left coast type of, type of guy, uh -huh. what do you think of Long Island? You know, the last couple times I've traveled in New York have been the first times I've traveled outside of the city. So I've been getting a better education on New York in general, man. I like Long Island. I, I, it's very comfortable. The, the shops I've been to have been amazing. The, the, you know, the, uh, it's, it's, been a, it's been a great time, so I enjoy it. I like it. Where can we find your product? You can find Room 101 Cigars in about 1,600 retail outlets in the United States. Including Flame? Including Flame Fine Cigars in Port Jeff, as the people in the know call it. Uh, and <laughs> other cigar stores, other premium tobacconists in the area. Uh, are you linked in with any type of uh, social media? Can somebody follow you there? You can follow us on at Room 101 Brand on Instagram, which is my chief manner in which I promote the company. And then same, Room 101 Brand on Twitter and Facebook and etc. What's new? What's coming out? What's, uh, what do you plan? Uh, what, do you have anything uh, planned to, to release uh, in the next couple months? Of course. I'm working on an alt metal collection, so black titanium, cobalt, and... Uh, and ceramic for the jewelry line. Where can we find uh, information on that? Uh, that'll be on room101brand.com. As well. And we also have uh, our products on shop Nordstrom, shop.nordstrom.com as well as in store and select locations. And as far as the cigar side is concerned, uh, you can tune into Half Wheel uh, and the other blog sites because they have up to, the, up -to date uh, info on what we're releasing. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Once again, Matt Booth, Joe, uh, Joe from Flame uh, Cigar Company. John, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.